Hi, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron. Today I am going to be dyeing some yarn in this turquoise acid dye from DT Craft and Design. So I've, weigh, I've measured out 0.1 gram of this. Put that in here. Add some add a teaspoon of vinegar. Here's my yarn, it's just been pre soaking. Uh, into some plain tap water. This is 10 grams of uh, superwash merino tissue silk and uh, silver stellina. So I'm the first. I'm going to dye this in two batches, two rounds. I mean, first round I'm just going to kettle dye it this turquoise blue, and then we'll be right back for round two. I'm going to leave this for about maybe 10-15 minutes, and then we'll be back for round two. It's only been five minutes. And this dye is already, dye bath is already cleared. So I am going to take this out, let it cool down until it's cool enough to handle, and then we'll come back for round two. Okay, round two, I'm going to do some resist dyeing. Now, in the past, I have uh, done done this by just winding the, the stain up really tightly and putting it in like that. But I'm going to do it slightly differently this time. I'm going to add a couple of these zip ties on to create resist in other ways. See? So I've just folded that over. Uh, This will just create patches where the colour might keep. Okay. So it'd be this is just a, a different way. I think one more. a few strands there. Oops. There we go. So there we go. I'm going to dye it just like this. So hopefully where the, the resist band, the bands are, we're going to keep this lovely turquoise and the rest of it will be dyed in this lovely violet acid dye from, again, DT Craft and Design. Okay. This is the same water as before. So I've just got the 0.1 gram of dye in here that I've dissolved into some water. I'm going to add a little bit more acid, just, just another teaspoon, and put this monster in there. Put it down, and again, I'm just going to let this come to the boil and let it simmer for, well, the turquoise only took five minutes, so I don't know, maybe five to, ten, five to ten minutes, depending on how long it takes for this dye to take. It's actually been less than five minutes since this reached boil, and you can see the dye bath has already cleared, which I'm amazed at. I'm, I'm trying to get a catalogue of all of my colours, I want to make samples of all the colours, so I put in a little bit of yarn here just to get this purple. This, uh, that's very pretty, I like. So that's what the, the violet looks like and this is still very it's not purple which i thought it might turn but you can see it's got a nice dark blue you can still see some little patches of the turquoise in there which i'm really happy about so once I'm the yarn had completely cooled down i removed the uh, zip ties and washed it in some plain tap water with some washing up liquid just to remove any excess dye, let it dry and here is our beautiful resist dyed yarn. Uh, it's, I think it's incredible how it's, it's dyed. Uh, the turquoise, I dyed some swatches as well at the same time. This is the turquoise which the yarn I used is Supermosh Merino Nylon Gold Stellina blend. You can see it's pretty much the same 
even though this was already dyed a pale orange it's pretty similar but then this was then dyed in some violet dye uh, you see it's created this beautiful dark blue uh dark blue color this is the swatch that i made please excuse my fingers i have been doing some other dyeing and there was a hole in my glass i didn't realize now this is baby alpaca mulberry silk blends and you can see the the difference I'm just layering up colors uh, i'm so happy with how this has turned out we've got we've got some nice uh turquoise still inside but then we've got these beautiful big sections of the of the nice dark blue some slightly different shades this is beautiful i'm so happy with this yarn thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please click like and subscribe to my youtube channel i aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every monday i like to try experimenting with different techniques different fibers different dyes so there's always going to be something different to watch. Thank you so much for watching.